Now, despite various road safety campaigns in an attempt to reduce motorcycle and vehicular accidents on our roads, the menace continues on a daily basis with varying degrees of injuries and effects on victims and families. We bring you a sad story of a 22-year-old mobile money vendor at Dodi Papasi in the KJB district of the Oti region. Prince, the victim, is currently paralyzed from his waist to feet after a motorbike he was riding on had a front tire burst and some assaulted. Prince is on admission at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital but is unable to do anything for himself, especially the daily help, except for the daily help from his mother. He requires emergency, emergency surgery to correct the defects, which would cost him over 40,000 Ghana CDs. Peter Senu has more. The 8th of September 2020, when joiners visited the Dodipapasi community to speak to residents about their expectations going into the December 2020 elections, Prince was one of those who volunteered to speak. He said, among other things, that... We are in the village now and nothing is going on better. As you can see, we, are, we have completed the set about four or five years now. We are still in the house. So what are you doing? Now I'm just a vendor, a station. Can you imagine? Credit transfer, okay. mobile money, yes. About five years now, I'm still under this umbrella, hustling myself all the way. Prince, according to the mother, started operating as a mobile money vendor after senior high school over three years ago to save some money for his advanced studies. Prince, we are again told, is hardworking and favorite among his peers. The 22-year-old is currently on admission at the Greater Accra Regional Hospital after a motorcycle he was traveling on from KGB to do the Papasi had a front tie burst and some assaulted. The accident, which occurred two weeks ago, left Prince with a spine injury and a broken rib. He is paralyzed from waist to feet and unable to do anything for himself except the daily support from his mother. Prince requires emergency surgery that would cost him over 40,000 Ghana cities. This has been the difficulty for the family over the past couple of weeks. The single mother says she does not have the financial strength to push through this difficult time. Prince's mother, Annie Deku, has been speaking to Joy News. Evinia Prince. My son Prince had a terrible accident last Wednesday and I sent him to the Papasi Hospital but we were referred to a bigger facility. I am required to pay 40,000 Ghana cities but I do not have that financial strength. Prince was the one looking after me until now. I am only appealing to the public for any support for my son to be healed. His auntie also has this to say. The doctors are telling us that he has a problem with the spine and then he cannot move his body. He cannot move any part of the body. So we need an agent surgery so that uh, this thing can be corrected, so he can go about his mobile money business. As a family are trying so hard, raising the money, so much money that we need help from uh, the people of Ghana to come to su support us. Prince is a hard-working guy who is taking care of a whole family, so we beg you Ghanaians, please come to our aid. The family says it has raised just about half of the amount required to buy the items for the surgery. Prince could hardly make any audible speech as I tried to pick a word from him. Peter Sanu for Joy News.